Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to um, explain you why Java E and um, thin or small wars in particular are very good for productivity. So the smaller the war, the uh, faster the deployment and particularly in microservice and um, like environment like for instance Docker. So to demonstrate you this, I would like to um, introduce you uh, my uh, server, my hardware actually, where my block is running. So what I'm actually doing is I have one base image and this base image comprises just the basic Java installation and what I also do I just deploy a ping war. If you're curious about ping just go to GitHub. But what uh, ping does, uh, the ping is like basic monitoring stuff. So and um, I add JDK, I set the Java home. So this is the basic setup. And this image only changes in case the operating system changes or in case I would like to deploy a new Java version or will, would like to change the password. And um, the next image is uh, the application server image. So and uh, in my case right now it's a Whitefly 8.2 and what this image does it just set up um, Whitefly. So um, and as you can see this image relies on base Java server image. Um, so um, I um, only have to build the Whitefly image to uh, in case um, I introduce a new Whitefly version. And finally, um, today I created uh, an image which is um, simulates an application image. It inherits from A being Whitefly and I'm adding a pink and I have one war hex which is um, going to be contained in the image. And this is basically what I do with uh, with my blocks and the other projects as well. The point is, in case I'm the version of the application changes or I would like to redeploy the application, I only have to build this image. And what the hex war is is this very simple application to demonstrate you this. So uh, it just comprises uh, hello resource, hello thin, and JAXRS configuration. It actually does not matter in our case. And um, what I also did, I modified the uh, Maven War plugin. So if I um, built the application, it will place the war in my um, in my uh, Docker image. So um, what I can do right now is I can uh, build the application. As you can see, it takes um, around uh, one second. So I can do it again. So then I switch to uh, to the um, Docker, and as you can see, I will measure the uh, image size, and um, it's tiny. So usually all my wars are tiny because uh, they only contain uh, business logic, and all the infrastructure, persistence, or whatever is actually on the application server. So now if I build the image on Docker. So it takes um, not even one second. So in total, the image was built in around two seconds. So um, each two seconds, I could deploy a new version in production on Docker in microservice architecture. <laughs> and um, so what I did just to, uh, to show you the difference, um, I will um, copy the um, JDK to source main web app. This, um, uh, wait a second, I will just have to, to copy a JDK, which is around 200 max. And now I will build it with Maven. So uh, what happens right now, if we go uh, to NetBeans, we have JDK uh, 8. I just copied to WebApp to demonstrate you to emulate, you know, some additional dependencies. And um, so if I build it with Maven, Maven, as you can see, just uh, building t uh, takes significantly longer. It takes about uh, 10 seconds or 9 seconds. So I'll do it again. So 9 seconds. So if we switch here and um, ls mi minus lh, you see the hex is 200 max, which is actually a re realistic size for a war containing the application server or uh, whatever uh, uh, fetch chart technology you're using. Uh, um, so, um, so, so the point is now I spent 
um, eight seconds more just you know to for zipping and now the interesting part i go to um to docker and i build a docker image as you can see um yeah, the image has to be uploaded first and it takes um about i would say four seconds so what it actually mean is um, i lose about 12 seconds um for 200 max in war so and i do it several times a year uh, a year a day i would say about 20 to 30 times a day. So uh, for me, Java E is the fastest deployment of Docker. And um, if you um, don't bundle the application server all over again, which is actually crazy because this image never changes, you can um, 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 you can um, have a significant um, productivity gains just uh, you know for 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 faster life cycles. So uh, thank you for watching and see you at um, Munich Airport, Hex workshops, particularly microservices, and of course, conferences, Java One and projects. Okay, thank you and bye.